Elon Musk just confirmed cyber attack at Tesla's Gigafactory. Yes, you heard that right. Even Tesla was targeted. Russia is at it again. They just don't know when to stop. What in the world do you want? Oh, yeah, the world. The Justice Department alleged a complaint that described a thwarted malware attack against an unnamed company in Sparks, Nevada. Tesla has a factory in Sparks that makes battery cells, packs, and electric motors. While Tesla was not named in the complaint, several blogs, including Electrek and Tesla Roddy, reported that the company was the target. Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has confirmed that it was the target of foiled ransomware attack. Poor Elon Musk isn't safe from these menacing people. Ah. The Justice Department has alleged that Russian national Igor Igorovich Kruchkov, 27, attempted to recruit and bribe a Tesla employee to introduce malware in the company's network. Here is how the whole fiasco went down. Before we discuss that, why don't you hit like and subscribe for more videos like this? And don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss an update about the latest cybercrime news. Let's move on. A Russian-speaking non-U.S. citizen working at Tesla's Gigafactory, Nevada, was contacted by another Russian-speaking person named Igor Igorovich Kruchkov. Yeah, it's easier for the Russians to pronounce that. Initially, Kruchkov befriended Tesla's employee and spent time with his associates at the employee's home and other public places. Only after gaining enough trust, a meeting was set up over WhatsApp under the pretext of meeting a person in the District of Nevada to discuss something. Kruchkov told the employee about a special project <laughs> that he and some others were working on. Comment down below as to what you think was the special project, and stay tuned to find out. The special project was the installation of malware on the company's computer system, which would require a Tesla Insider. This malware would be provided by his co-conspirators and would require him to do a manual installation once. With the help of this malware, the conspirators plan to carry out DDoS attacks on the company's computer network and search for private and confidential information. The malware was designed to install ransomware, a kind of malware that encrypts a victim's files in exchange for a ransom. Let's take a brief overview at how ransomware works. Ransomware is extortion, plain and simple. The general intent behind a ransomware attack is to lock a business organization out of its computer system by encrypting important files and data. The criminals responsible later demand a ransom before they will provide the decryption key needed to unlock the files. Once the ransom is paid, these criminals often renege on their promise to provide the decryption key. Therefore, law enforcement discourages organizations to pay these ransoms, as it will only embolden them and help to fund more criminal activity. Something similar was about to happen to Tesla. Prosecutors said that ransomware used an increasingly popular new tactic that not only encrypts a victim's files, but also infiltrates the data to the hacker's servers. The hackers typically threaten to publish the victim's files if the ransom isn't paid. Yes, ransom for your private and confidential information. It's worse than it sounds. To woo the employee into carrying out this cyber criminal activity, Kruchkov offered a $1 million payout to the Tesla employee. A million dollars, that's a lot. To work effectively, ransomware needs unrestricted access to a target system. Hence, ransomware seeks to perpetuate itself through the escalation of privilege attacks. Therefore, criminals using this tool often look for access to privileged entities linked to services, hosts, and accounts that usually have unrestricted access in order to ease replication and propagation through the system. That's why the recruitment of the Tesla employee was pivotal to Kruchkov. In this case, the recruitment or coercion of a Tesla insider to aid the attempted deployment of malware tools to stage their attack demonstrates the lengths ransomware groups will go to. The offer was tempting. It sure is. But the earnest employee instead turned in the cyber conspirators. The employee informed about these inappropriate advances to the authorities at Tesla, kudos to him, which then notified the Federal Bureau of Investigations. The FBI used the employee in a sting operation. Smart move. The FBI asked the employee to continue communications with the conspirator to expose the entire nexus. Over the next couple of weeks, the FBI wired the Tesla employee and monitored Kruchkov's movements. Kruchkov informed the employee that the plan was getting postponed by a few days and that he shall soon get his money through bitcoins. He also informed that he was going away for a few days and handed a mobile phone, which he asked to keep on airplane mode until further intimation. Seriously, what did this guy want? The FBI went on high alert since this communication and followed Kruchkov from Reno to Los Angeles, where he drove down on the same night. 
He was in readiness to flee the country from LA, and thus the FBI eventually arrested Kruchkov. The cyber criminal was arrested and charged under Title 18, United States Code Section 371, on the count of conspiracy to intentionally cause damage to a protected computer. Good riddance. Apart from just the ransomware attack, what other mottos would the conspirator be hiding? The question that arises here is, why Tesla? I can think of other companies that might have data that would be more valuable to a cyber attacker. It's not clear why Tesla, but we can only speculate. Maybe just because Tesla is a world-famous company and everybody knows where it operates. That could be it. It could be that they thought that they had identified some particular vulnerability at Tesla. Or they thought that the person they approached who works at Tesla was a good vulnerable target for some reason. Don't know. Can't say for sure. This might feed the notion that Tesla's automobiles could be hacked. I mean, they've sold thousands of Teslas with autonomous driving capabilities. Who's to say that someone's car can't be hacked and taken over and cause mass chaos with it? What? Beware, y'all. Although cars can be hacked in theory, there have been some demonstrations of that. It's not something that really happens in the real world. And Tesla in this instance nabbed the guy. Whether Tesla helped, whether Tesla was aware of what was going on or not, but Tesla did not get hacked at the end of the day. They became aware of it as it was in progress. They did take some efforts to make sure they closed the vulnerability if there was one, or they made sure that this guy or the group could not get the information. If, God forbid, a hacker took control of your car and you had an accident, it wouldn't matter whose fault it was that the car was not secured. You'd want to do everything in your power to prevent it. Sure, we expect manufacturers to provide a fully secure vehicle, but our experience in cyber tells us that this is not something that can be 100% guaranteed forever. In the same way that we expect to be proactive in protecting our laptops and phones, I suspect we'll need to take a more hands-on approach to ensure our cars are protected from cyber attack. This, in my opinion, is a win-win situation for Tesla. What matters is that in the end, they put a stop to the menacing problem. They became well aware of the potential problems that they might encounter in the future and have already started pre-planning against them. As Mr. Igor and his gang are concerned, while well, they're spending their time behind bars. I hope you guys have fun there. Musk called the attempted cyber attack against Tesla serious and accepted that the tech giant avoided a planned cyber attack owing to an earnest employee and acknowledged him on Twitter saying, much appreciated. Yes, it should be much appreciated. The Tesla cyber attack highlights the vulnerability posed by insiders such as employees to corporate data. Even if organizations have hardened their security by deploying firewalls, antivirus systems, penetration tests, and malware protection, the human element remains the weakest point of vulnerability. Hackers are just looking for a weak point. That's why many companies nowadays consider it critical to even perform security scans in their personal phones, laptops, or tablets of their staff members. After all, malicious hackers have multiple approaches for breaking into one's phone and will often attack personal devices that may contain valuable personal information. Preventing the Tesla attack wasn't the only bright spot in this ransomware saga. Though the details haven't been disclosed because of the ongoing nature of the investigation, the FBI was also able to obtain pertinent information related to other criminal activities perpetuated by Kruchkov's group. Kudos to the unnamed Tesla employee who from all indications went above and beyond the call of duty to save Tesla the headache of a massive attack. Ransomware is nothing new, but with the proliferation and importance of information systems, the practice is becoming more lucrative, not to mention harmful and vicious. While Tesla was fortunate to dodge a bullet, organizations should take the growing threat of ransomware seriously. To forestall ransomware attacks, businesses must take steps to protect themselves against the growing threat. And so should you. Share your tips and tricks on how to stay protected. Stay safe.